Puck. Now, a man that can throw a few shapes on the dance floor without embarrassing himself always goes down a storm with us ladies. And our final guest today can not only captivate a dance floor full of women with his fancy footwork, but he has mesmerised men and women the world over with his natural rhythm and, rhythm and astonishingly impressive Irish dancing. It's no wonder they call him the Lord of the Dance. Please welcome Michael Flatley. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. You've oh. made a movie, Michael. Yes, ma'am. 3D as well. Yeah, I love 3D. It's it's new, it's cutting edge, mm. it's exciting, and it's um, it's perfect for this style of dance. I really, I just think it fits really well, and uh, the screenings have been going great. Thank God, everybody's standing up and clapping and having a good time and dancing, and so it's uh, yeah, it's a lifelong dream. You mm. know, for a long time I was. Uh, tempted to do film work, but I'd never had the energy, mm. you know, in 2D. I was never able to capture the magic of the show being there live. And now this kind of does it, you know, it's but very your, exciting. your live shows are so phenomenally exciting to watch, yeah. you know. It, you, a film, is, a, it's a, it's, is it a different feel? Does it yeah. capture the excitement, do you think? It is. That's what I was so worried about, yeah. that it wouldn't uh, capture that. But, uh, you know, we work with a great company, 1915, Marcus uh, Viner, our director, is brilliant. And I think this one... It's the closest thing, you know, the, the cameras are literally on stage with me sometimes, so you can see the audience and it's real. Mm. You know, there's great depth of field, it changes everything. Mm. You know, I'll tell you uh, how I got the idea, you know, maybe a year and a half ago, we were living in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills, and I wanted to take my little son uh, to the movies, and he's only uh, three at the time, or two and a half at the time, and uh, something about training the dragons. And, uh, mm. well, I went to the cinema and I brought the popcorn and the the coca-colas and all the candies and everything and and I walked in we were a little bit late and uh, when we got in there we came around by the seats and there was a big huge screen and there was this almighty dragon on the screen and he let out a ferocious roar <laughs> in 3d came and, at you like that yeah and my little wow. son started shaking mm. like all over and and I dropped the popcorn I dropped the cokes oh. I dropped everything and they said daddy if you love me please take me out of here so oh. Yeah, so I gave him a big uh, hug and so we just... Where you watch your show? Funny. We legged it, but, but... Do you have to wear the glasses then to watch your show? Yeah, but it yeah. gave me the ideas. It's profound. I mean, I, I just thought to myself uh, uh, to see a live show this way. And ours is a first because uh, mm. Lord of the Dance is the first live show ever filmed in 3D on film. Mm. Uh, so it's beautiful. The texture, the colour, the depth. You know, you do get that the energy. Feet. You do get <laughs> that energy. Do they go, into, yeah, do they go into your feet the then to, to actually capture that? Yeah, they do, but it's, you know, I'm going to tell you now, there's no uh, gimmicks or tricks. There's nothing right. flying in your face. It's none of that. No, this, yeah. is, this is done, I think, really tastefully. It'll stand the test of time. Uh, I think... I think we've done it right, and I, I don't think he'll be disappointed. We're, mm. We open tomorrow night in Ireland and Sunday all over the UK. There's a lot of UK dancers right, in there. Yeah. In fact, our world premiere is tonight. I'd like to invite you all. It's in Haymarket Square oh, at the Cine World, so please come along about 6 o'clock. if you. That's lovely. I've got a question for you, which is uh, um, I'd like to ask you anyway, but Karina's asked it, and she said, Irish dancing, is it a dance that anybody can be taught, or do you think it's a gift that you naturally have? No, great question. Uh, you won't believe it, but a lot of the dancers in my show, and in fact, in the new movie. Uh, mm. Some of them are from Poland, they're Hungarians, they're Russians, they're Asians, they're from everywhere in the world. Uh, so anybody can do this and we have a waiting list of people that want to uh, be involved in the show and come right. to the show. And, well you're uh, right, everyone can have a go at this and, and you believe it or not you are sat amongst one of the most undiscovered and best talents right? in Irish dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you didn't ask me to be in the film. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Jean Butler was good. I rang, you ain't I rang the phone, I rang the phone, I rang the Sorry, phone. I was, I was <laughs> seriously, Michael, seriously, take yeah. a look at this. Okay. This is Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> giving oh, yeah. it giving it her very best shot. Let's see it, Colleen. Okay. Dying to see it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 that would be awesome. Out the first three rounds. <laughs> 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 
Richard, really? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that's that's. What, what could you do with talent like that, Michael? It's, uh, it's a bit overwhelming, actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. wonderful. Believe it or not, that was the first time she'd ever done it. You'd, you wouldn't know to You'd never it, know. Would you? You'd never know. <laughs> You'd never know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How are you on risk taking? Yeah, uh, not bad, I guess. I plowed millions into this new movie. It's all me. It's Ooh. all mine. And, uh, Big risk, yeah. and certainly with Listen with Lord of the Dance, nobody believed that was ever going to take off. I had to beg, borrow, and steal uh, I, every last penny I can honestly say Did in the you? entire world went into that show and it wow. took me a, a year of touring the world Australia all over uh, dancing every single night just to break even and make the money back and uh, well I still have letters I say from people say you'll lose everything don't try this really? um, yeah. but it's a chance we're taking and I believe in life if you if you follow your dream nothing is impossible if you're willing to work for it and I certainly am and, and was at the time you can have anything so I you know I, I would always say to any young people out there if you have a dream Everyone around you is going to say, no, it can't be done. A lot of people, even their closest yeah. friends, maybe because they care about mm. you. Mm. But you can't listen to that. You can never listen can to I, that. Can I ask a quick question? Are your feet really insured for 40 million? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd have to cut mine off. <laughs> <laughs> She'd sell them. I will sell I'll them. Split it with you. I'll million. split it with you. 20 million each. You know, can listen, I can, you can I also say that? That's impress that sounds impressive in the press, but it's strictly business. If I go down, the show goes down. And mm. while it's a great press hook, it, it's, it really is just business. Yeah. yeah. Although I could take over, quite <laughs> Colleen, as we've seen, Colleen. I'm always you there and me, here. Colleen. I'm always there. Your game me. is the Nolan's Lost. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, the very best of luck Thanks, uh, with ladies. the movie, with the premiere tonight. Uh, thank Please you. do come back and visit us Thank again. you so much. Michael Love you all. Thank you.